Now we're working through developing news and a tragic story we first told you about this morning in Eyewitness News. Two young children, both under the age of 10 years old, have died after they were found unresponsive yesterday. The children reportedly locked themselves inside of an old trunk or possibly a hope chest by accident. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is live with more now with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Danielle, we are right in front of the Franklin Police Station right now. An investigation underway at this point into a terrible tragedy. Just a few miles away from here, a young brother and sister both found unconscious late last night, and now we have learned that both have died. This is the latest on what we know at this hour. Police returned to the scene at 313 Chestnut Street in Franklin, hours after what appears to be a tragic accident took the lives of two children, both under the age of 10. At about 8 p.m. Sunday, family members found the kids unresponsive inside of a hope chest. The lid on the chest could only be released from the outside and not open from within. Police say the chest was near a loud TV, which could have drowned out any cries for help. After police received a 911 call, the children were rushed to area hospitals where they were later pronounced dead. Neighbors were heartbroken over the news. Just terrible shock, shocking. I have kids of my own. It's so scary. Peggy Kowalik lives nearby. She says she's had scares with her own children and thinks this could have happened to anyone. Just an accident, horrible, horrible accident. The names of the children and the cause of death haven't been released at this time. While police and the district attorney's office continues to investigate, locals are being supported. This memento was placed on the family's doorstep. Kowalik says this tight-knit community will come together through this tragedy. This town is so close. I grew up in Franklin. I've been here for 50 years. You know, we could definitely help out these, these parents. And we are told that the family is cooperating with this investigation. As soon as we find out more information, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. It is still very early in this investigation, but we're told at this point this is being considered an accident. For now, live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News. In other news.